In this session, we're going to take a look at order management. And by order, I mean someone purchasing something from your site. Anytime you take money from someone, you're going to want to keep really good records so that you can look at what they've paid and what they might owe, and you can talk to them about any disputes that may come up. In Paid Memberships Pro, under the nav, there's an orders section. And here you can see four orders. We made those in the last session. Three of them were free and one of them was for money. So right here on this screen you can see the date that it happened, the status, transaction IDs, payment, the total paid, the membership level, the user that it's related to, and then a code to uniquely identify this. If you click the user it simply goes to the user's profile and we've seen that before. So I'm going to click the code and now you can see all the details about this. Note that each membership level has an ID. This one is two. It's the $10 a month one. The WordPress user ID is six. Here we have all the billing information, the subtotal, and the total. Here we have payment type. We paid with a visa and it doesn't actually store the account number. It stores the last four digits so that you can uniquely identify a given card. But we don't have the whole number. Then there's the expiration month and year and then there's a status which you can actually change. It shows which gateway was used. So if someone comes to you and says they had a problem, you can come in here and say, oh look, all of the PayPal ones have problems. Maybe we should switch to Stripe. Then there are transaction IDs, a date, and some notes. Now the notes stay on this page. They don't go to the end user. They never show up on the front end of the website. They're just for you to keep track of things with a related user. This can be useful if you have multiple support people working with individual users. Now let's take a look at a free one. In many ways they're similar, but much more simple. We don't have billing information because we didn't actually bill for a free one. And the subtotals and the totals are zero. Payment type, all that information is blank. It does show that we used the testing only sandbox testing area. So there's far less information in a free one than in a paid one. Let's look at one that had an existing user already. Nothing's really different. You can see the user ID is 1 because I was the first user on the site. Other than that, everything's the same as a brand new Paid Memberships Pro user. Once you start collecting more and more users on your site, you're certainly going to run into someone who has some problem with their billing. And this is where you're going to need to go to find out what's going on. And it's going to be different with every user. So I can't tell you, always look in this area for a problem. But you should make yourself familiar with this area so that when the problem comes, you're ready to handle it.